Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. Right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Is that us being? You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no this dude's crazy, doc. man. He's like you know, that cool doctor. Parece, it's, I was thinking it's He's been like a while Dr. since Clint. I've been in shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go. No, Saint no, Don. no. I don't think so. Cor Damn, Coronel? lockdown. What would I do if I lost you? If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I true. look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Damn, they in love or something? He said, I don't know what I'd do. Oh my. We found his weakness if we were to, uh, you know, do a little poppy woppy on the campy wampy. Oh, level two. Can I fix my bike anywhere in here? Nah, I ain't talking to Curry yet, bro. <sighs> my baby. That's it, that's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath that I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... I think I would learn. I actually think I know where you'd get one. Let's go. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my god, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. Another duo mission. Let's no, go, I'm baby. Sure. I mean, no, it's not an no, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you gonna take me or not? Oh, she getting friendly again. Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh my God! If you say thank you one more time, I. Dubbers. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Screenshot taken, baby. Let's go. Thumbnail. Let me know when you're ready to go. Damn. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain, yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke, Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test Villain. his chemical weapon. By Villain. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like Let's to go. Go. Right on, baby. We going far, huh? Pressing the wrong button. 
What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? God. It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline, or we're not gonna make it. You know, I've been at plenty of Could've camps that went the doing just fine way. without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and the ranks sitting pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and tights. Speaking facts. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're going to have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniform. You know there is that. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, he died. <laughs> oh, brother. Can we try that again? Damn, she just straight up died. <laughs> Alright, let's ride. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. Sarah and I did not die in vain. It was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? Well, I guess I can't it's crash in my car. chaos out here. We need Bike. the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean. Oh, what? Texting and driving. I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you oh, guys had ranks like up. road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? To Diamond Lake. There's an old forest <laughs> and surface road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Damn. I need to pause my game, bro. I can't pause my game. Woo! That shit went crazy, bro. Alright. Stick to the mission, baby. We got work to do. This is where I died. I 
Alright. We're officially... Whoa. Where'd the road go? Is that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Dubbers. Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's giving us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious! What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I like the I auto drive I function. just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spend all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest, you know, there were times when I didn't believe that, about, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know, just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up! Alright, lock I in, did. lock in. And then, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so... Watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to. I didn't want to let him down, so I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive, and that that's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. Oh, whoopsie. Damn, what if I don't bring this bitch back? Well, I like the auto drive function. I can't kill her again after that. You need your help to move that out of the way. God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Oh, shit. Alright, let's move this shit. <laughs> Don't tell me we cut that scene off just so we can 
we going, bro? Oh, we're getting back on, I see. Fuck, isn't it? Somebody on viewers. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's rock. Wait, hold on. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. Rock There's roll, a baby. tunnel. Up in the old Belknap Fuck. Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Long ass ride and shit. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. We've been here before, let's go. Look at the water still running. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a <clears throat> nuclear powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. <coughs> like you said, power is still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been 751 days since your Damn. login. Please wait. Two years. Well, you guys are a little more high tech than I remember. <laughs> It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Scary. Artificial intelligence response interface. Wow. <clears throat> oh my god. What is it? Nothing. It's just... Porn. Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Close that gate, boy. Oh, shit. Damn, that scared me. That dogs. Suicide birds. Sound like a kid screaming. That was insane. What's made them so hyper aggressive? It makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Right. 
And they still watching. What the hell happened here? I don't know. That they got shot, Sarah, baby. These uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. I am. Let's go. Come on. So someone shot them all, as they were what? Trying to leave. I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. World is a vampire. Alright, no time for that mission, I guess. I ain't even trying to 100% this game. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and that was with weekly maintenance. And now it's been, what, two years? Damn, somebody's got to be here, you know? <laughs> God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! <sighs> oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. Come on. And what a cutscene, huh? There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Come uh, on. I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. Base. Skip the cutscene just to shoot a ladder. Some of these things piss me off. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. Iron Butte. It has Butte. been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Open oh, fire! Come on! Get down! What the fuck? You were saying? Yeah. Of 
this world is tough than anything. Trust no one, expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Pretty fair point. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice strikes me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. There we go. It's clear. These are right, cool. Alert. It's clear. This is a level four alarm. Coming. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the gotta get up those stairs and through oh. the sky bridge. It's clear. Coming. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use. Back here. Jim, I'm stuck enough. What's that? I already got one of those. Ooh. Might be useful. Airbag. Alright, whatever. That was uh interesting. Alright, let's go. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, Deadly security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in Warning. lockdown. Deadly Repeat. Override, ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh God, shut the fuck up already. Alert. Alert. They must not have locked out under security. Has been called. You ready? Police yeah, are this on time, let me go Stand in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Go, oh, baby. Alert. Shit. Alert. Up there on the roof. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance. Now I gotta reload. There's more of them. I see them. Pretty tame. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. Alert. Whoa. Ready? Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Alert. Alert. This is a level Make sure it's clear. Multiple shots have been fired. Yeah, on it. Security personnel to the maintenance building. It's clear in here. Nothing here. I remember taking this photo. Huh. It's clear. Same here. Shits. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the I'm by me. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Damn. 
Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Hell yeah. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Ubbers. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. <laughs> you mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Oh, yeah. Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? What are we doing? What are we doing? They locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. I All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID: five four two nine zero zero nine. Got that? Security personnel. Uh, five four two nine zero zero nine. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Let's go. Go, oh, ganger. Warning: Deadly force is authorized for use. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Wait, you can't get up this ledge? <laughs> Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? Gang your time, let's go. Yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Me? These days, that's all I do. Okay, tough. Go. Deadly force up in this bitch too. Bah! Get wrecked, kid. Tell me what you want. Okay. All right. Nice. Way to breach, Deacon. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> we just couldn't take the risk. <clears throat> Get up. <laughs> what? 
Emily! I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Go, 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 go. Goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Whoa. Damn. I wish I got that on the photo, but you know, bada bing, bada boom. I want to get the hell out of here. Said, gotta go, Poppy. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. Damn, it's her experiment. I should have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're to hide tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and... he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid Damn. and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here Damn. I don't understand what he mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. Some umbrella Corporation was type this thing. this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my god. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. Damn, some COVID type shit. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Damn, she a villain. She a damn villain. They weaponized her brain. Uh. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Damn, why y'all separating like that? I don't like... I don't like that. They're probably gonna take her. The Rippers. I don't like this move, and this is a bad move. He took one bike for that very reason. Power building, yeah, that's uh, that's gotta be it. Close. 
Cutscene for that? Jesus. Oh, I get inside this bitch. I just gotta give me that door. Not now, not now. I don't like this music. Not so hard. <laughs> that should do it. Ah, damn it, I don't like this. Loser, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not going to get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I found her. God, I don't like, I don't like this tension right now. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Uh, Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay? And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell? You know what? This is so this tense. But uh, you know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. What a heartfelt moment. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him. Uh... Yeah, we're on our way. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here, man. These silly little cutscenes really begin on my nerves sometimes. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I told them that you're fine and we're fine and that I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. Rock and roll, baby. Man, what a what a mission. Good fast travel, hopefully. It's clear. Uh oh. Haha. <laughs> Are you going to come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Soaking wet. Dubbers, baby, dubbers. <laughs> Bada bing, you know what I'm saying? Dubski. Deacon. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is a sensational. Mission, actually, the best one yet. You know what I'm saying? The best one yet, baby. You know what I'm saying? We taking mad screenshots right now. He macking on her heavy. Oh, they didn't show nothing. God dang. Must have been a good night though. <laughs> the end. Great tip. I like, I like. Goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What kind of accent? These are horrible paint schemes. Nothing.
St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? Uh, what's wrong? That. There's been an incident. What? I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Goodness. This is some BS. They're pulling some BS right now. Right after my night with Sarah, they pulled some BS. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? You're the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. Nah, I don't. I don't mess with that one bit. I don't mess with that one bit. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. That's some BS. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor... That's his love. ...cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. Yeah. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Jesus Christ. My man is in shambles. Inside. Dude, gotta watch out. Deke! Cor hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Oh, hey, no, I, I didn't mean nothing. I'm just... Just us grunts here, right? Shooting the shit? 
Yeah, we'll show some respect. Can't do nothing here? Yeah, yeah, like I said, I I didn't mean nothing. That's right. See you, Corporal St. John. Oh, brother. Wanna do? Uh, here's what we're gonna do. Fill up this bike and go to that side mission, I guess, until... Until we can do the next main mission. I don't know. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. He's with us. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. We get it. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Corporal, the colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah, copy that. Saint John out. I could sleep for days. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh. We gotta go through all that. Let's do the protecting the week real quick. Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us. For the militia. You know, I mean. It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, Sanjay. Go, John. baby. Dismissed. Save us half the time. That damn big ass map. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy, most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. All right, baby, Sarah. let's go. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. And don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. They need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. 
Who knows, Cope? Maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. of these nests. These nest missions are just Colonel, reporting in. Yeah, Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. On his fair trial tomorrow. And then we'll hang him in dusk. Fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. Fair trial. Then, uh, all right. Anyway, just reporting in. St. John out. That is ass. Back up north, baby. Got him. Hey, hold on. Well, I gotta finish burning out this infestation, so. Alrighty, let's see what it is. Where are you, Ethan? I'll find you. Got me traveling cross country and shit. Everyone come at me. What the fuck was that? Oh, come on. Zoom, uh, yeah? How are you doing, Corporal? Buddy? Man, am I glad to see you. Yeah? You didn't want to join up with those assholes? Hell no. And I had no idea what they were going to do to me. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to be good. Gonna steal your fit. Uh, are you good to get out of here on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, You're going to travel that far? Brother.
chicken? Did I hear a chicken? Whatever. Okay, why don't we make this our last mission then? Not that far, but... <laughs> wow, bruh. That was stupid as hell. St. John to Captain Curry. Uh, it's done, sir. The kid is on his way back. Good work, St. John. You've been a huge part of what makes us successful. The Deschutes County Militia would not be the same without you. Thank you, sir. Um, I will radio in later and make sure he made it. St. John out. All right, come on. I should go to bed soon. 12.30. Did I do this last mission? Yes. Can I keep myself from dying? Can't make any promises. survived that one. St. John, come in. This is Captain Curry. We've got a job for you. Captain Curry, um, hit the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that. Make this uh interesting. Nah, fuck it.
They see me. Dick and Saint John to Captain Curry. Uh, how's that kid doing? What's wrong with this guy? Bounties. Dick and Saint John to Captain Curry. Uh, how's that kid doing? St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. That this Taylor kid. Him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. <laughs> and they're laughing at you. Man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to hang. Don't let them hate me. Damn. Yeah, rest easy, son. John, in here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. Crazy. I don't care what a man's done. We never. Leave him for the freaks. He just cooking him. The Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Long ass ride. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with Why did they have drugs? Soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time. Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. 
Yes, sir. How did he survive? Well, we're gonna end it there for the night. Time for bed. So, uh, see y'all later. <laughs>